Hey y'all, welcome to the Friday Hot Toddy. It's whiskey, tea and whiskey. This week, I again am on three different platforms. I'm in my women's group at Whiskey University on Facebook. This is going on my private page and it's also going on my YouTube channel at Bugs in a Lip Gloss. The topic this week is the healing power of writing. So the first question is, do you write? And I don't mean writing checks or writing out bills. I mean, do you journal? Do you journal in any way, shape or form? And we're going to talk about the power of the pen. And um, there's something kinetic and something so important about getting your thoughts out. Generally, it's the kinetic thing about pen to paper. There's power in that. And it's that that physical flow of the mental transition of what is in your brain out onto paper so you can physically see it and it's looking back at you. It's so important to get your thoughts out and to get things moving and to just get some perspective on what's rolling around in your melon, right? So um, the pen is your voice. It's it's filtering through your thoughts. It's figuring out what voices are in your head and if those voices are even yours and really getting those things out that you don't necessarily tell to other people or that you keep in your head and and you need to again, filter it. Right. So, um, there are multiple ways you could do this. You could do gratitude journaling. One way to gratitude journal is before you go to bed at night, list five things that you're grateful for that happened in your day. You could do it in the morning also, but for myself, when I gratitude journal, well, you could do it both ways too, actually for myself, when I gratitude journal, I actually like doing it during the evening because, if you've had a rough day, you find those things to be grateful for and you find those good jewels that were in the day and you don't take all the miserable stuff to bed with you, right? Um, and in, in regular free writing and journaling, if you've had a, a rough day and you journal before you go to bed, you put all that crap on paper and you leave it there. You don't go to bed and you don't sleep on it, right? So you your brain can rest, you let it go, and then you start fresh in the morning. If you're a morning person and it works better for you to sit down with a cup of coffee before the kids get up and go to school or before you go to work or whatever the case may be, then that's great too. Whatever you woke up with that's still on your mind from the day before or the things you need to filter through to get through that day, if you know it's going to be a rough day, then put that on paper, work it up, work through it and write through it and just let it go. It doesn't matter if words are misspelled, sentence structure doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's just a few words and, and captions and headings, just do whatever it is that your body wants to do to get it out of your system. Um, uh, free writing. Another way thing to do is audio or video, video journaling, right? Like I don't write as much anymore because of me being a nomad and stuff like that. It's just, it's labor intensive for what I'm doing. And I really don't shut down and do that much time, but because I run my travel journal and because I do photo journaling and stuff like that, I have a photographic memory. So any photo that I take, I can tell you exactly what I was thinking, exactly what I was feeling, where I was, what the scene was, what all my senses are doing. I can tell you everything about that moment that I captured in a shot. So if you're one of those people, start a photo journal, make a um, make a plan to take five photos in your day, right? And find those things that that spark your brain, that make you take notice and capture those in a photo because you're going to be able to go back through and filter through those and understand what it was that was going on in your head at that time and what was going on in your life. Um, all that is to say, it doesn't matter how you do it just do it. Just get it out of your system, have the gratitude and, and have that filter to get things out. Now, a word of caution, because this is going into my women's group and on my YouTube channel. I'm going to tell you a story about when I was younger, because I used to religiously keep a diary when I was younger. And I know a lot of girls, especially that are us Gen X girls. And, and before we kept diaries, I would live, grew up in a really tumultuous household and I had someone in my home who consistently went through my things and went through my private things and would not let me have space to just grow, right? So as I moved out and moved on into another home when I was growing up, a lot of those things were taken from me. They weren't passed on to me and, and they were confiscated, basically. When I was in my 30s, I was given back a page from my diary, a page. 
not a pretty little cute book that I'd been writing in that was locked up with the little cute little padlock. It was a page that was ripped out and given to me 20 years later. That was kind of a devastating thing. And I know that not even kind of like it, it was a, a, a violation of my privacy and my own filter. Correct. So, and, and some people in situations right now, I know I was in a relationship where somebody constantly went through my phone. I had no privacy and I had no peace. If you're in one of those situations, if writing things physically isn't going to work for you because you don't want to have consequences of having your own space because somebody else is in there and you haven't gotten yourself out of that space yet, let's let's put that point in there too. If you're in one of those situations, that's not your space, right? Let's Let's work on things to change that space. But if you're in transition and you're working on yourself and you're trying to figure out who you are and what you're doing, and you still need to filter. There are journaling apps on in your phone nowadays that are password locked. Your phone should be password locked. If it's not, and you're in those situations, lock it. Um, and there's Google Docs where you can store everything in a cloud and everything's browser-based on online that nobody has to know what's under that email or what the case may be. So there are so many ways nowadays that you can still do this process without having somebody else confiscate or getting into your business, okay? And that's another good way if you're somebody who wants to photo journal, nobody else what's your, knows what you were thinking when you took that picture. So that's another way that if you're not able to physically write out and journal things, you can photo journal and you understand what you were doing and what you were filtering at that time, but nobody else does. So if there's a will, there's a way. You, We've got to be able to pull that stuff out and really be able to look at ourselves to see where our journey is, what we need to do and what's next. Um, and for those of you that are really gung ho and really want to do things and you are artistic, <coughs> excuse me, there is a book by Julia Cameron. It's actually a book set and it's called the artist way. And I've gone through this book. It's so good. And she'll talk to you about taking yourself out on dates and exploring different parts of yourself that you maybe haven't looked at in a long time and things in our lives and lives and situations in our lives that block our creativity. And what she has you do is run a journal. And when you wake up in the morning, you free write for three, three solid pages. You just put pen to paper and you keep writing. Even if you have nothing to say, or you don't know what to say yet, you just keep writing. I don't know what to say, or there's prompts in the book. Or if you're in my women's group for the next week, I'm going to be posting some writing and journaling props in prompts in that group. So for three pages every morning, you sit down and you write and you just get out whatever it is you get out. And it's amazing what's going to filter and come out. Like you're, you'll, if certain people keep coming out in your journaling, yeah, something to do some, it's time to do something about those situations or those people. If that's something that's constantly grating on your nerves, it's time to change that. Okay. So I love y'all. If you're in my women's group, you're going to have fun this week. Start. It's time to start that trend and start building a habit of really looking and focusing inward and seeing what's going on with you. If you're not in my women's group and you're female, by all means, head on over to Whiskey University. I welcome you. The service is free and the group and the culture in there is amazing. There's so much support and love and the growth in there has been amazing. If you're a male, obviously you have this tool now and I'm posting every week. So if you want to talk to me or you have any other questions or want to discuss, by all means, jump in a conversation and let's get it going. And YouTube, by all means, subscribe and share with everybody else so, so they can get in on the fun of changing their lives too. And I will put all the information where you can support my ministry for change for all of this in the show notes or the comments, whichever platform you're on. I love y'all. Have a great week and keep on rocking.